morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Art with Mrs. R. Today we have a fun project we're going to do that only requires the use of crayons. It's a fun Valentine's Day project and so um, I hope you're going to like it. So let me go ahead and share my screen with you and show you what you're going to need for your project today. Okay. So you're going to need, of course, your drawing paper, an assortment of Valentine's Day colors and reds pinks and purples okay so it doesn't matter what colors you choose um you're going to need to start out by putting your paper um, portrait so the long way up and down and you're going to need to decide what three colors you want to use for hearts that are going to be on the page so i decided i wanted to use a red a pink and a purple and then the other colors that I chose, these additional pinks, purples, um, are going to be used for accent colors, okay? So the first thing you need to do is decide what three colors you want to make these three large hearts we're gonna have on our page. All right, so we're gonna start out, um, and if you want to actually start with a pencil, you can. Um, so I'll show you how to do it that way, but if you feel like you don't need to use a pencil, um, then you can just do it freehand without it. So let me show you with pencil. I'm going to draw one heart here. Okay. And then I'm going to draw a smaller, a little bit smaller heart here. And your hearts, obviously, they don't have to be perfect. They can be kind of any shape you want them to be. And then I'm going to draw another heart kind of coming off the page like this. Okay, so you can see that I have three hearts. Now what I'm going to do with my crayons is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to trace this first one in red and then I'm going to color it in. So if you haven't um, finished drawing your hearts in, so at this point you're going to want to press pause on the video and then push play again um, when you've had your hearts drawn. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trace this heart with my crayon that I made with my pencil and then I'm going to color it in. Now it's really important that you stay inside the lines um, when you're doing this so that our colors don't get mixed up. Okay so just go all around and color in the heart. Yes. And just keep going around. So I'm going to turn my page a little bit like this. Okay, so I colored in one of my hearts. I'm going to try and make sure I've got all the white part covered up as best I can so I can see my white in here. So Okay, so there's the red one. So I'm going to put my red crayon to the side. Now I'm going to color the next part purple. So I'm just going to trace the lines that I need with my purple crayon and then color it in. Just like this. And just remember, if I'm getting ahead of you, you can always pause the video so that you can um, catch up, okay? So just make sure you do that so you don't feel like you're getting behind. I don't like feeling like I'm getting behind. It kind of stresses me out. So our sense is to be stressful, so just push pause when you need to. There's my purple one, and then my last one down here is my pink one. So trace that one, and this one kind of is on the edge, so I'm going to pull my paper, my second paper, up a little bit.
Right. Okay, so now I've got my three hearts in place. And um, so if you are not finished holding your hearts, push pause at this point. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is you're gonna decide what two other colors besides the red, because we colored our heart red, so we're gonna use red as one of the details. And you need to decide what other two colors you want to use to go around this heart. So I think I'll pick um, these three colors, okay? So you're gonna do three different colors. So I picked the red, which is the color of the heart, and then two other colors that I like, okay? So I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna keep those up here so you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm gonna do a close-up of this heart so you can see what's happening. So I'm gonna start with the purple, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do these zigzag lines outside of the heart like this. And they don't need to be um, exactly the same. But you're gonna go around like this. And then do these zigzags back and forth, back and forth, back and forth like that. Okay? And you're gonna do it all the way around your heart. Just like this. So you're gonna need to turn your paper a little bit. Whoops, let me get the fix that so I don't get cramped on the table. Okay. So Okay, so there's one color. Okay, so now remember, red was part of our color too. So now I'm gonna go above this color and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna trace around it like this, around the heart. Just turning the paper as I go. Just keep going around and around and around. See. So I just keep going around back and forth, back and forth. Go on this side a little bit. Okay. And then my final color of the three that I chose that was going to be in my pattern, this shade of pink. So then I'm going to go around my threads, just like I did with the other one, turning my paper. And I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to turn the paper this way. Okay, so th at this point, this is where we're going to stop with this particular color. So now we're going to start with the purple one. So I want that purple crayon that I used. So it was this color. And then I need to pick two more colors I want to use with it. So I'm going to use this. And let's see, maybe um, this color. Okay, so I'm going to put away my three other crayons and I'm going to do these colors here. So let me put this to the side. So I'm going to pick a color that's not a color of the heart of my three colors. I'm going to pick this one and then I'm going to start going around this heart like this. Just like you did on the last one. I'm just going to go all the way around. Just like this. Pickups. And just keep going. Just like that. And then I'm going to use, let's see, I use the, it's kind of a lavender purple. Move around like this. Okay. So we just keep going. 
Okay, so then let's see my final color is this one. So I'm just going outside of the lavender purple color in place. So around. Just And then a little bit on the edge here. I'm just going to try that. And then we're going to go down to our bottom one down here, our, purple, our pink one. So then I need to, I'm going to use the last three colors I have um, the pink that I used on the heart, and then the purple and the magenta. So let me. So this one with the magenta color first. Okay, and then this purple and go like this. And so this is going to bump a little bit into this line, which is totally fine. Some of these are going to open up for sure. And so you can see I'm just doing the same motion around and around the heart. So I'm trying to get this side of this this way. And then I've got my piece of paper underneath here um, to keep it from being on table 30. Oops. Okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the patterns from one of these parts. I think I'll use the purple, red, and pink, and I'm going to start that over here, but I think I'll start with the red first. So I'm going to just do a pattern going this way now. It's not going to be the same direction as the ones I used below. So the red, pink, and purple. So I'm doing a pattern, and a pattern is something that repeats the same way over and over and over again. So once you figure out what your pattern is, our pattern has three different colors, then I just, oops, I just continue to do this pattern, oops, that's red, um, over and over and over again in this corner. So it started with red and then pink and then purple. So I'm gonna do red again. Just like that. Okay. And then pink. And then purple. So these corners are kind of tricky, but let's see what I'm doing. So I'm just going around. These edges are a little tricky, but we can get it. Okay, so then I'm going to do this pattern one more time. So remember it's red, pink, and purple. So red and pink. I don't think we'll have pink purple. Okay, so you can kind of see how this is looking. Let me back up a little bit. Okay, so in this empty spot here, I'm going to do this pattern of the kind of the grape colored pink, lighter pink, and the darker pink. So let me grab those colors here. And some lighter. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with this first color, and I think I will go this way. Okay, 
So then I'll do the lighter. And then the darker. This one, this. And then this color again. And then, let's see. So this is another color. I'm going to fill in this spot here then. And then that leaves two space for this purple, which I can kind of squeeze in that spot there. Okay, oops. Okay, so then the last section we're going to do, I'm going to use the three colors in here, the pink, the magenta, and the purple. And I think I'm going to make it go this way. So I'm going to turn my paper like this. So I'm going to start with pink. And then I'm going to use um, this color like that. And then purple. And you can make the lines as um, short or as long as you like them, you want them to be. And then up to you. And I know your hands are probably getting tired, so you just make sure you take little breaks. Um, just shake out your hands when they're feeling worn out from the coloring. And that's the great thing about recorded videos is you can do that. Okay, so we use all my crayons here. Work space cleaned up. And so, oh, oh, actually, you know what? I forgot a corner. Up here, so let me finish that up. Let me see what little corner up here that I didn't do. Oh, that's the wrong purple. Can't forget that. Let me see that. Okay, so now you can see that we've made a really cool design using zigzags and um, Valentine's Day colors, which is nice. So again, you could make this into like a card, um, like the opposite side, you could draw, you know, write on like a little poem, or uh, you could fold the paper in half before you start this project. You could color this kind of design on one side. So it's just a fun little um, coloring project and I hope you guys liked doing it today. So I hope you had fun. I know your hands are probably really tired from all the zigzags, but like I said, the more you do art, um, the stronger your hands get and the easier it will be. So I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed our art lesson today and I hope you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye everybody.